Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. In today's video, I am showing you how I created these beautiful fall DIYs um, using Arteza products. So thank you again Arteza for sending me another package of your wonderful products. I was so excited to use them. So if you haven't guessed it yet, this video is sponsored by Arteza. They have graciously sent me another um, round of items to try out, which if you saw the previous clip, that's what all this is from. Um, they are just wonderful to work with and I'm so excited that they wanted to do another collab video with me to show off some of their amazing, amazing things. So crafters, artists, um, if you just like to doodle or paint, anything like that, create creations for your home like I do, um, this is the company to go to. So I'm, I'm just over the moon to be working with them again. If you want to check out their site, make sure you go check the links down below. All of these items will be listed um, and check out the affiliate link down below to put in Amber the Happy Homemaker 1 to check out all this amazing thing. So um, let's get started on our first project. So the first product that I'm using is the Extra Fine Non-Toxic Easy Pour Jars of Glitter. There is 54 glitter jars in this kit and I could not be more pleased with the amount of glitter that comes in here. There is so many different colors as you just seen on the back of the box. Um, just so many and they all are beautiful. They're very high definition um, glitter so very good for multiple different projects especially if you have kids um, kids love glitter <laughs> so um, I can just think of a, a number of different projects that I can do with my kids the first one that I am doing here though is I am going to be doing and decorating these pumpkins that I got at the Dollar Tree I'm just using some Aileen blue and painting the pumpkins with that so I have a nice sticky base to adhere my glitter to. So here I'm using the burnt orange glitter out of the pack and this glitter is stunning. Um, it just, it's so shiny <laughs> um, and it's, it's just again very high definition. It's just beautiful. So. Um, I was really pleased with how these little pumpkins turned out and that I can add my own little touches to. So I'm just going to make sure I have a nice um, coat of glitter on here so none of the white shows through and it is all the way covered um, so again you don't have any spots and it looks like one cohesive um, pattern of glitter. I am using a tray underneath to catch all the excess glitter so I can put it back into um, the jar. So again, I'm just using um, another different pumpkin and again, doing the same process, painting it with the glue. And then this time I am using, there's a couple different white shades in the kit. I thought I grabbed the snow white, I did not. I grabbed the neon uh, white and which is totally fine, it looks, the exact same when it's in the light but this one does glow in the dark which is totally fine because most things during Halloween glow in the dark but um, so it turned out just as good. I am spraying some Mod Podge um, spray on there just to kind of keep the glue intact and not have so much fallout. Here I'm attaching one piece of lamb's ear to give myself my leaf and then I am going around the stem with some twine just to give it that more farmhouse touch um, because that is kind of the theme in my home. Um, it just makes it look a little bit more rustic. And doing the exact same thing with the other pumpkin. Okay, 
So these are how they turned out when I was done and I was really excited about it. The next um, project that I am doing and I'm using another item from Arteza is this is a pack with a cutting board mat, um, acrylic ruler, there is a rotary cutter and also rot rotary blades that come in this pack. So it's there's quite a lot here. Um, these are the items that I'm going to be using. I have a wreath, some shiny pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, again the Artisa felt which is just 50 sheets of felt fabric and I'm just using some also some greenery to make a nice wreath for the fall. So I cut a circle and I'm going to be using the fabric felt sheet to just go around this glitter pumpkin to add um, again just more rustic farmhouse looking um, just to cover the glitter up and to give myself a nice base this is just an easy project and kind of go with the theme that I was going for on the door um, and I'm making two different pumpkins I'm making a white one and this like off orange color um, and I'm just kind of pleating it around the pumpkin to make the lines I guess of a natural pumpkin um, it's just an easier way for me to do that so um, I'm just going around pleating and then gluing it down um, with some hot glue I'm going to cut off the excess and just keep gluing that down until there's nothing really sticking up or any distractions in the pumpkin. So um, I am cutting some more felt with the um, rotary knife, which is awesome. It literally cuts like butter <laughs> um, and I was really pleased with it. So here I'm just cutting a piece of the brown and making the stem to go on the top of the pumpkin. And also I'm using a couple leaves of the greenery that I have to put on top of the pumpkin for some nice leaves. Plus it covers up the top where I had cut it. So win-win for all. this cute little pumpkin. Okay, so I did the same exact thing with the other pumpkin that I had. Here I am used using a pick of lamb's ear that I got at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 a piece, but there is a sale going on 50% off this week. Um, so I got them for a dollar. Um, this other uh, greenery that I picked up, it was $7.99 and again 50% off so I picked me up a bunch of that and I'm just cutting a few twigs off of that and just laying it just to layer it and give it more dimension. So now I'm going to be adding my little pumpkins that I made with the felt that I got and I just think it's absolutely adorable. So I got these Harvest Welcome and I think it says Grateful little um, plaques from Dollar Tree. They come three in a pack and I just love having those around for projects like this, especially wreaths. So I just grabbed the Harvest out and that is going to be for the top of my wreath. And that is how it turned out and I think it's just so cute. Okay, so next project that I'm doing is this time around I'm using the 30 pack of adhesive felt sheets. Um, I These are kind of the stencil that I just kind of freehanded and now I'm going to be tracing them on the felt. So um, this did take me some time because of course the felt is very soft for the pen. Um, which the felt pen markers that I did get sent, those would have been um, perfect for this, but I was just trying to get this done quickly. But anyways, um, I'm gonna cut the felt out of um, the stencil for the pumpkin so I can make a board with this pumpkin on it. And my camera cut out when I was laying these pieces on the board, so you will kind of see right here the finished product. Um, so again, just cutting I stenciled all of that kind of freehandedly and just placed it on this board. I used lath um, for many different projects that I have and the ribbon came from Dollar Tree. I just wrapped the ends of that and then laid the felt adhesive down to 
create this cute little pumpkin. And then these um, succulents came from Dollar Tree again, and I'm just adding a nice little touch to the bottom. So that is how it turned out, all three projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And please go make sure you check out Artisa products for more um, great ideas on crafts.